Palazzo Fortuni dedicates a, a very complete exhibition of Yun, we are the curator of the exhibition, we are the second floor. On the ground floor we have a lot of canvases made by Yun, and here there is another particular thing connecting to the exhibition. Yes, on this floor uh, we are uh, is, uh, ex exhibiting his later works produced in 1980s and 90s, and in these very big spaces, uh, his very meditative uh, uh, works are very fit to the architecture, atmosphere, and everything. And Yun is a Korean artist who was born in 1928 during Japanese occupation, and he suffered from the Japanese occupation and Korean War, even the dictatorship. Under this traumatic uh, period, he went to jail three times, and uh, in his age, in 1945, he started to uh, devote himself uh, to making arts. But uh, this is a very challenging project that uh, Korean artist, the retrospective uh, uh, was first uh, exhibited in Seoul, MMC Seoul, and traveled to this uh, beautiful museum and then the adapted differently because the space and uh, atmosphere uh, are different. And uh, I hope uh, yeah, how he suffered from the uh, dark history, but uh, through this experience, he could uh, make his own very meditative and, uh, and uh, beautiful works. So he himself said, a true love, a true sorrow is connected with true beauty. And if you see uh, his works, and uh, they are very calm and, and comfortable, and this is a kind of a salvation for himself. The arts for, uh, for him uh, is uh, also very, uh, very, very uh, uh, kind of a salvation to uh, save his life. And then uh, we can understand his background and also the beautiful works together. And on the top floor, we have also his atelier, which is originally located in Seoul. Uh, there uh, we can uh, see his uh, um, uh, impact uh, of the t teacher and his friends. One of the most good, important friends of uh, him is uh, Donald Judd, the minimalist. And uh, all this uh, context we can see on the third floor as well. So please don't miss to see this Yun Hyang Bin's exhibition in Venice. It is very mystical in a way, very minimal in the other way. Yes. So mainly the canvases are black, yeah. but there is always some light coming yes. from this right, yellow right. gold inside. Yes, yes. There is no light in fact, but uh, we feel as if there is a uh, bright light in between. This black column is exactly, exactly speaking, it's not black because it's the mixture between blue and umber. Uh, blue means uh, sky, heaven, and umber means earth. Uh, and in between, there is a kind of gateway. So uh, through this gateway, we feel as if it's the bright light come through. But uh, this kind of illusion uh, is very, very religious and meditative and so on. But uh, later in this period, uh, he changes his style. If you see this one, for example, it's, uh, he preferred to use umber rather than blue. And for me, it's like a You can see through the light, it is not yes. really black. So, to, yes, it's uh, like more umber. Uh, umber is representing earth, and this uh, is uh, so beautiful. But it in detail, and he painted this part first, and then dried, and then covers all that from the like this. A dripping. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. like dripping. Right. So it's like a tomb in Korean tradition. Tomb is made uh, with the earth. The shape is like that. So beauty people is inside, and all this uh, made us think about the death. I really want to introduce to his quotation. Uh, he did a, uh, wrote a lot of diaries, which is uh, very, very beautiful. And uh, one of uh, them is uh, his dad thinks everything on Earth ultimately returns to Earth. Everything is just a matter of time. And I remember that this also applies to me and my painting. It all seems so trifling. So if you see such a painting, which presents uh, the uh, which make people think about the very, very long time, like uh, trees and uh, earth or the stone, they last a 
longer than human being who lives less than 100 years. But this nature uh, lasts longer, and the people should be humble in front of them. And uh, nature is more... Uh, uh, is the more mother lesser. of yes. everything. My, my, so look at, I just introduced these last pieces of his series. It was produced in 2007, just the year when he died. He used the first cotton, but later he turned into linen. He preferred to use linen for a long time, constantly. But very strangely, uh, in this year, he used the cotton again. So the cotton is more uh, pure as kind of uh, pure and innocent and uh, in this series he used always uh, two columns together sometimes there's they, a uh, gap like this in between but sometimes they are touching almost touching each other but sometimes they lean this way or that way so he thought about the relation of uh, two existence but I can feel that there is a kind of a solitude as well so in this beautiful building for example there was a cross by chance, and I put this painting, his latest, pa uh, yeah, latest painting, under the cross so that people can uh, understand his uh, eternal <laughs> philosophy or religious, whatever we, uh, could, we uh, human beings should think about that well, um, which we cannot reach or cannot see directly, but so maybe <laughs> there is a kind of riddle. <laughs>